Hey, everybody, this is Free One Up, and this is my thoughts about Seasons Beatings 4, which I attended this past weekend. And uh, I gotta say, I had a blast, an absolute blast, an energy blast, a super blast, or whatever. I don't, I don't know. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, it was fun. The funnest weekend I had in a long time. It was like, uh, it was all Street Fighter. All Street Fighter, I'm telling you. All Street Fighter, like all day. I was, yeah, all weekend. Two days straight, it was just all Street Fighter. I'm like, I actually got to the point where I played it so much that, uh, I didn't think it was happening. I bet I, I got almost, I didn't get tired of it. It's just, I didn't feel like playing that much. And usually when it's that much competition around or some or competition I'll play, it got to the point where I was playing so much that I just wanted to sit there. I wanted to sit there and just watch regular people play because everybody there was talented every single person there knew how to play at a uh at a higher level you know and um yeah it was it was hype the whole weekend was hype for me i don't know about anybody else but it, for me it was hype it was so much more than where i placed that in the tournament or whatever I, and by the way uh um i was two of two in the tournament you know win this bracket uh, one one lost one loses bracket one one lost one got knocked out period about the, the whole thing uh, by yipes in the second bracket and for that i'm not ashamed because come on man the guy smashed me <laughs> uh well i am glad we played some cabinets with yikes me and my, uh, my buddy we played some cabinets with him it's like me and my buddy got the same main character bison and we both wanted to learn from Yipes about Bison. And he schooled us in the back. The hard way. And it's like Bison mirror match. Mirror match. He played more against my buddy than me. Uh, and I was just sitting there watching, man. He put out combos that I had, uh, I knew was possible. That I was going to get around to practicing. But he was just doing them right before my eyes. Like, oh, man, I got to start doing them now. You know? His bison is better than mine. He's his his bison and his kin is better than mine. Yipes! It's like he he, he man he better with both my mains than I am. <laughs> so I was like, man, I'm learning the day, boy. You know. All right, but uh, yeah, he a cool dude. He a real cool dude. Him, y'all saw the interviews with, that I had with him, uh, Jay Wong and Long Island Joe, and. And now I want to thank uh, all three of those guys for doing those interviews with me, you know, because it was a, they didn't have to do it. At that time, they were, uh, um, Joe and Jay Wong was in the tournament. He was still, like, in the tournament. And he was like, uh, it was, it was so easy to approach about it, you know. You know, so I remember when, uh, after I interviewed, uh, Long Island Joe, <laughs> he was like, I'm like, all right, man, good luck in the tournament. He's like, oh, all right, man, yeah, I gotta go fight Daigo. He's like, all right. <laughs> he was like, you just said, all right, I gotta, I gotta go fight Daigo. And I went out there and watched this match, and it was the hype match. I was like, I mean, hype set. I was like, dang, man. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I did get a chance to fight Daigo. But thank all three of those EMP members, um, you know. And also, Sanford Kelly and Andre, whom I did not get a chance to interview. But they did say that they would uh, do the interview. I only didn't get a chance to because I had to leave a little earlier than expected. And they, uh, Sanford Kelly said he'd do it after the tournament was over. For unfortunately, I was gone. You know, uh, fortunately for me, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and Andre, he, he just wanted to be cautious because he, uh, he said, I'm about to fight right now. I'm, uh, He's like, he was still in the tournament when I asked him. He said, I mean, because the bracket was going down like that, you know. He was still in that junk, and he, they could call his name any second, you know. You know, so uh, he said after that. But thank both of them, because they, they both gave me the okay. You know, they was cool about it. It's cool. And I wanted to get one with Daigo. Ugh, I, that is what I regret. Uh, and his translator was there, too. Uh, I didn't really, I couldn't find him before his time was to go. Uh, it was something. He, uh, I I should have just asked him earlier or something. I don't know. I should have just asked him. But anyway, I'll get him next time.
because I ain't done with this uh, interview stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to upload my uh, set with Daigo. It was best two out of three. I'm going to upload that. So um, I also want to thank Seb from FrameAdvantage.com. Y'all saw his YouTube videos, his website. I watch his videos all the time. I didn't know he watched my videos until he uh, I seen him there. And he was like, hey, free one. He came up to me. He was like, yeah, hey, free one up. What's going on? I'm like, yeah, what's up? He said, you don't recognize me. I'm like, I recognized him a little bit. I'm like, yeah, hey, he got to send me that video response about frame advantage and, you know, season beatings on my, uh, the day before I left. I'm like, I'm like, man, I didn't know who it was, though. I forgot about that part. I don't recognize him, though, but yeah. Thank you for uh, letting me on the stream for a little while, even though I did screw up a little bit, you know, because I was dead tired. Uh, he caught me off guard, you know, but yeah. Thanks a lot. He picked up the slack for me, you know what I mean? And, uh, he know how to do what he doing. He know he knows that announcer game good, you know. It's like I play Street Fighter all day, man. It's like I I wanted to get my Ken game up so bad, so good. It was just the first on Friday I played everybody with Ken. Every person I played with Ken, and I played so many casuals. I played uh, Jibo, Jibo. That's Jibo. My bad, Jibo, Jibo. Um, automatic. Y'all know him. I played him. I did not beat him. Still, <laughs> he schooled me the entire weekend. Every time I played him, and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm glad that Detroit, Michigan, was repped like it was, and we got some real players, three fighter players down here. Y'all know who y'all are. The ones that was up in the, uh, they got pretty far, farther than everybody else. Um, my boy Checkmate, um, Twan, and Wolf Crone. Y'all probably know him as the random pad player that, uh, what, do you, what do you like, beat Daigo a game? You know, he like, he played, if you play with a pad, that's what he played with. Don't be getting down like, oh, he played with a pad. Look, man, well, you play whatever, you play with whatever you play with. Don't be trying to dial somebody because they play with a pad. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I learned a lot from this weekend. I'm gonna probably make a part two of this video too, cause uh, it's going a little long. <sighs> About the people that met me there, it's I, I was I wasn't even sure. I didn't even know people was gonna be looking at me, uh, recognize me. You know, people was there. They were really recognizing me. People was there like, oh, um, free one up, man. He tapped me on the shoulder like, hey, you, hey, you free one up. I seen people staring like, in the corner of like they recognized me from somewhere. I'm like. I was just walking past like anybody else, you know. And he was like, uh, um, he was like, man, you free one of me. And this one dude had, he had to get a picture with me. I was like, that took me totally by surprise. And um, he was cool. I took a picture with him. I wanted to get pictures with everybody else, you know, that was there. But um, Carlo, Carlo from Germany. You thought I wasn't gonna, you thought I was gonna forget you, didn't you? Yeah, I wish I could see your face right now. He like, yeah. Carlo, I ain't forget you, man. It's good to meet you. Good to meet everybody that I met there that watched my videos. And I I was kind of, I was like astounded about, about how many actually watched me that was there. And I was like, man, I just came there to watch. You know, I met my man Seth Killian. He's basically a celebrity. Everybody wanted a picture with him, including me. I got one. I put it on Facebook. And me and that picture with Diego. I wanted to get so many other pictures, but uh, it was like, you know. I was doing so much at so many, so all at all times. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. I might make a part two of this video when I think about a lot more to say. It's a lot of underground, underground matches that happen. EMP was making money matches with a lot of people. I mean, it was Sanford and Daigo. That was an under, underground match that didn't get recorded off the record, you know. And nobody know about that one. But fortunately, I have it recorded. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna post that one, but uh, and it was hype. I didn't know Sanford could play with all them people for real, as good as he did. Um, but yeah, it was hype for me, and I'm gonna uh, catch y'all probably. On, I'm probably gonna make a part two when I think of some more stuff that I happened. But anyway, peace out. I know it's been a while. I'm late doing this video. Peace out again. It's free one up.